Okay, as promised, here's a video of processing cell phones. This is a sand bath. I'm removing components from the cell phone boards. When they warm up, the components just fall right off. So, as the components come off, board is clean. I replace the ones that come off with boards that haven't been depopulated. I like to remove all the speakers. They tend to soak up a lot of heat. try to pick up components as they drop off right now the sand isn't too warm so I don't have to really worry about going very fast but as the sand heats up more it goes pretty quickly and it's, I have to struggle to keep up. Uh, the bath doesn't heat evenly all the way across. I've got the aluminum foil around it to keep the wind from, the breeze from blowing around. If one of the boards is not warm enough for all the components to come off I just replace it this is actually a two-person operation it takes one person to remove the components one person to replace the boards as they're used I've just started the burner so the sand is really not that warm. As the sand warms up, it'll get to the point to where as I take a board off, one goes on. And the components come off cleanly. Try to remove all the loose components that I can. <clears throat> the sand gets pretty dirty after a while. So after 10 pounds of boards or so, I'll turn the heat off. I'll take my I'll take my little scoop. It's just a little strainer and I'll scoop the sand up, put it in the strainer, strain out all the loose components that falls off. It keeps the sand clean. I'll not spend a lot of time on this. I just wanted to show the sand bath and the way 
um, the sand bath works as far as removing the components. See the board is nice and clean. It's got a little residue as far as solder goes. This solder will be removed later with hydrochloric. Uh, quick soak in hydrochloric will remove that loose solder. Um, you really can't do that with uh, the whole board. Uh, there's a lot of people that that talks about um, removing all the components in a hydrochloric bath, but the problem with that is, is these steel covers over the components. That's RF shielding. And that shielding is a uh, is mostly steel and it prevents it prevents the acid from attacking the um, the solder because the solder contains a lot of silver and uh, hydrochloric doesn't react well to silver <coughs> and since steel is more reactive uh, then, then silver, the uh, the acid will attack the steel first. That's due to the reactivity series of metals. Um, the metal with the highest reactivity will dissolve first. So if you have two metals uh, that uh, is dissolved by the same acid, the metal that's more reactive will dissolve first. Uh, before the other metal will just start dissolving. So you put these components in direct hydrochloric acid, it's gonna it's gonna dissolve the steel before it ever affects the solder. Now as you can see, it speeds up quite a bit as the sand heats up. The components just start falling off. You have to be um, have to be diligent as far as remembering what is placed where and try to keep up especially if you have someone placing the boards for you I have a very good helper it's my wife She helps me in all of my endeavors. But this is the sand bath. Removing uh, components off of cell phone boards. Got a lar large lot of these to do. And more on the way. So uh, as you can see, this is, this is probably... The, uh, the quickest way to remove these components. Um, you'd be hard pressed to try to remove these by hand uh, in a timely manner, especially when you're dealing with, uh, you know, 40 or 50 pounds at a time. Uh, my wife and I can, we can go through <clears throat> about 10 pounds an hour if we really work at it hard. When I get all the boards depopulated, I'll be back to show you what I do with all these loose components. 